Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful for you taking your time to come here and watch me. It just shows me that you guys really support me and I love that. Thank you so much. You are my true blues. I totally appreciate your time. I know what it's like. Time is precious. So thank you for coming back. Love you guys. Also, I want to thank anybody who's new here, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I will be bringing you lots of videos like this and with cleaning, offering you cleaning motivation, or just a friend to hang with during the day if you're a stay-at-home mom. I know how that can be. So today's video is what I like to call a total transformation of my front porch. I'm also going to be giving this front door here a facelift. I have happily enjoyed the blue color for a couple years now, but it is time for a change. I'm going with a black color and also this brassy gold hardware I have here. I need to remove it because I'm going to be spray painting that also. So let's get right into it. <laughs> When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers, we just let the days pass by People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves And get a job, we didn't care what we were told Cause when we were younger we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow old. I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. guys I finished the second coat of the door it's drying it's looking pretty good when I first started applying I was like I'm not sure about this because um, it had like a brown hue to it so the name is uh, what is it midnight midnight stroll so but I mean it's drying black so so far so good uh, worst case, I was going to go back and just get the Tomcat black, which, I don't know, I still might do that. I'm going to see how it looks because it still has a little bit. I don't know, it's dry and black now. I don't know, we'll have to see. But I want to show you guys, Jack, <laughs> I look a hot mess. Look at this frizz. I get this frizzy here. We have so much humidity where I live, which, oh, I hate it. Look at this. I mean, whatever. It is what it is. But wait. I want to show you guys, Jack fell asleep in the playpen. I had him outside because I actually, you know, spray painted all my hardware that I took off. So I did it like a oil rub bronze and that was tricky. I have to say that was my first attempt of spray paint, but I want to show you, I was doing it on the side of the house so that the odor, you know, wouldn't get over to Jack. But let me show you here. I don't know how I could flip this. You know, at first... First, I'm gonna take you over to where my spray paint is. Okay, so it's drying right now, but um, I don't want, this is the color that I did it. It, I don't know if you guys noticed, it was like a gold. Let's see if the inside, so you could kind of see, it was like a brassy gold, and then I changed it to the dark oil rub bronze. But you know what, FYI, like I said, this was my first time experimenting experimenting with like spray paint it's the rust-oleum I used and I started off in the box but bad idea like I do not recommend that I actually wore a glove and I just held my pieces up and I was able to spray with the can like from a distance like this and it just had a better flow um, a better coat I had to redo a couple things I had to actually wait for it to dry and then use a wire brush like that for this part because it was like really thick and I don't know I recommend practice on something before you try to do it on your actual hardware because it's not easy but I like how it turned out and I think it's gonna go good it sure beats that brassy like that brassy gold see the inside that's what it was and now 
it's like this and I put toothpicks inside the the keyhole because I didn't want to like spray I did it over here too but they fell out I didn't want to spray in the hole and clog it up and let it dry like that but look at it. <laughs> he is passed out he fell asleep in his playpen I just put the playpen out here and um, I was painting the door and then I was on the other side of the house and I was airbrushing. I put Jack on the front porch in his playpen to play and he watched today is garbage day so he was watching all the garbage trucks go by. But I will show you guys the spray paint that I used. So this is the steel wool, the grade number one. I had to use it to like, dig off the first coat that I did because it was horrible. This is what I used right here. It's the Rust-Oleum Metallic and it's for metals and there we go so yeah it says it stops rust i don't know it worked pretty good i prefer not to do any type of spray painting <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and set up my camera out in front now now is the fun stuff i'm gonna fall decorate yay from your parents sometimes we got a bit out of control when they found out we ran from home just to scare them, we were free when we were 17. When we got older, we tried to stay in touch, but we had to I ran away from us If I could go back Be 17 again Yeah, I would Just to see all my friends Running around the city Acting crazy like we used to do Ooh, ooh, do, 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 do. I wish I could turn back time Oh, ooh, ooh. Singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them We were free I don't wanna grow old Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control I know this video is time lapse, but I swear you guys, I felt like I was in a real life time lapse. I literally rushed through all of this because I was trying to get as much done as I could before Jack woke up. And as you can see, he's awake. His brother and sister ran over to kind of soothe him a little bit, but that won't be for long. <laughs> These are just the struggles that us mamas have to deal with. It's not like we could ever just focus in on our work. We always have to balance the act of taking care of the babies and the kids and getting jobs done. i
take it to a better day A rocking chair and a glass of wine In the shade of a tree and I'm feeling fine There's not a lot to ask When life is going by so fast One breath away Step up and say Another decal I had but it's in white so I thought it'd go perfect on the dark door however I'm gonna hold off and putting it on because I may be painting it that other black color so I'm gonna wait on that and I swear this door gets so dirty like the traffic between the kids and the dog sometimes I just leave this door open and the dog will sit there and watch people go by and of course when people go by he barks so all his you know grossness gets on the bottom of the door so I have to scrub a little extra harder for that but I'm constantly cleaning this door, I swear. Do you have a space in your home that you feel like you're constantly cleaning and no matter what you do, it will just never stay clean? Leave a comment below if you wanna share. finally finished I'm so happy with the result this right here is just a little pop of Halloween the kids always love this since they were little spins around with the wind and then I incorporated mums which I always do I usually get one or two plants this year I got four plants just to give it that more cozy feeling around the stairway and those up there are actually a dark purple they're coming up pink fuchsia but they're actually like a plum dark purple these are true to color, the orange rust color. I love those. And then you see my daughter put these pumpkins on the lower level, which looks so cute. One of the pumpkins is Jack, the smaller one. Then the other one is hers. And this one here is Avery's. And then we have, there is no place like home. I love, love, love this rug. It was $6 at Target, guys. It was a clearance item, and I'm so happy I was able to get that. I love Wizard of Oz. I've been a huge fan since I was a young girl. And then this pumpkin is the family pumpkin, which we will all carve together. I love my little scarecrows. They each represent one of my children. And down here, I want to share with you guys, this was a Mother's Day gift from my husband and my kids. I have the kids' names in a heart-shaped stone, and then it says, We Heart Mama in the circle. I just love it. Um, and then here we have Kendall, the scarecrow, and then the other two represent my boys. Over here is Avery, my oldest, and then, of course, Jack-Jack, and I dressed up as little overalls with some mums that fell off um, from the pots. And this little guy here, he's been with me since I moved in to this house um, 11 years ago. So they hold up pretty well, these scarecrows. Those other ones I purchased at Big Lots a year ago for like $4 a piece. So that was a steal. 
Oh my gosh, this spider, guys. If you notice, when I was wrapping the leaves around the pole that I know I have to paint a fresh coat of white, I kept looking over my shoulder to make sure that thing was not jumping on me. And I have to trim the bushes. I know I'm actually going to be taking care of the grass and the bushes after this video. But look at the door, guys. It turned out so beautiful. I love the dark. And it just makes this yellow harvest wreath just pop right off. And that is my little M monogram for our last name. I usually dress it up with a little tiny ribbon for each different holiday. Um, and then this here is my welcome sign. I picked this up at a festival a couple years back. I like to dress it up with the different garland depending on whatever holiday it is. It just ties everything all in together. And of course, you know, I had to add a buffalo check rug at the bottom. I just love how all this turned out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm so satisfied with the result. I feel so good walking up and into my home now. I hope this inspired some of you to do something fall festive for your front porch. Thanks for watching. Uh -oh.